everywhere where we look, there is progress. However, in motors, in general, purpose, industrial motors, electric motors, there is no progress. We don't see it. The beginning of the last century, the beginning of this century, is it normal? Is it okay? So we take a motor, we make it according to our technology, 400 or 600 hertz frequency changer. The motor is small. Yes, we can adjust the height. And then this motor, together with the frequency changer, costs less than a classical motor. What about application? Yes, the same efficiency of application. And the motor comes straight with the frequency changer. And if we take a motor without the changer, you know, the cost is like that of a plane. And in our case, a frequency changer and a motor cost less than a standard classical motor without the changer. So why? My question is why? The answer is very simple. We can't do it in a different way. So the USA won't give us anything, Europe will not give us anything, and we don't have companies that could do it. Well, it was the case before, now we have such a company, Sovelmash. But Sovelmash is to be commissioned, and we need investment for that. But people are just starting to understand what we are doing. Now, let's look. Copper prices, they go up, and they will continue to increase. And we decrease copper consumption. So, we reduce the cost initially, and remember, I said that we take three and we make four out of it. And if we dispose of three, then we will be able to make 30, which is even more interesting, honestly. But for that, we need technological equipment and all the rest. So what are we doing now? What is Sovelmash doing? Sovelmash is developing this technology. And then, you know, people ask us, show us what you are doing there. No way. We could talk to you about that, but not show it. And just imagine if we had started talking about all of that in 2017. I don't think that anything good would have come out of it. Absolutely. Now, let's look at it at a different angle. Testing of an inbuilt unit is going on. We can put it in an angle grinder and any home appliances, tools, equipment, and so on. We can actually use it for a whole fleet of things. Vacuum cleaners, food processors, meat grinders, coffee machines, stores, vacuum cleaners for dry leaves, and all of that will be very quiet to operate. And you can just put in our inbuilt unit. Before they would have said, why do we need that? This is the first thing. And then, everyone has forgotten something. They all thought that we had forgotten about our initial topic. Imagine we take this angle grinder, and then we connect it to a lower voltage, a battery, and then we put it under a carriage with a reducing gear, and then on the rear wheel. Then a unit costs like an angle grinder in a shop. What do you think? I think that it's just great. Like two in one, or even three in one. And it is all based on one technology. But for it to become possible, We needed to improve the technology of casting rotors. Some people may ask, like, what do you mean by casting rotors? You just give it to a plant and it's done. Well, yes, they could do it, but honestly, I can compare how they do this casting and how we do it. They are two totally different things. And now, when we treat surfaces of sections, we see that there are no inclusions there. We have bought special equipment. We measure parameters of rods. What does it mean? There are no electromagnetic pulsations, vibrations, and so on. And it means that energy characteristics are so much better. We have now tested this technology on small things to minimize costs. And now we will start testing it. We will try casting the squirrel cage of a motor wheel 318. 
Everything is ready for that. Molding, composition, all the plates, everything is there. We just needed to test different modes. And we needed some more elements of metal constructions and experience. And we tested all of that on small size. But beside that squirrel cage, you know, we cast one of the rings and then we put a disc instead of the other ring. Tubeless tire of a car, scooter or something. But it is not 16 kilograms. It is 8 or 7. Do you think it is competitive enough? It is. The cost is very competitive. And now imagine these two wheels, especially given the fact that we made an installation for producing incremental encoders to do magnetizing of rubber ferrite of any size. And initially the size was not small, and we had to assemble that plate. And if we want to do it for something big, then we can make it empty inside. And then we have an offset axis here and here, and a suspension and a damper. You can demount the cover, if you want, it is easy to mount, to dismount, and you don't need the pendulum. Anyways, it is not there on the bike. The same function is performed by the wheel itself. Just imagine to what extent the product becomes cheaper. But for all of that to become reality, we needed to develop this technology, and we needed to make technological equipment, which would allow to do that. And that took time. We needed to do it. And now we can say that, yes, we know where to go, we have technological capacities, and we can speak about that in a more serious way. Doing it just somehow was not possible. We could weld a copper squirrel cage, but cast it with inox aluminum was not possible. And we can cast the squirrel cage, you know, short circuits, rings, and the disc, like from different alloys. We could do that and so on. This is what we are gradually coming to. But this is not enough. There are some other technological transformations and progress. The concept we are moving to is that we decrease manifold specific consumption of copper for one kilowatt of power. It makes a motor a little bit more complex because it involves a unit as well, but any unit becomes controllable and adjustable. It is like getting from an old Soviet keyboard computer to IBM 486. The difference is evident, yes. So when they were saying to us, go to the plant, go where, guys? Take this thing and go there. But it is not suitable, and technological equipment is not suitable for it. We need a totally different technological equipment. Different fittings and all the other things are different. Approaches are different as well. Approaches are different. And other aspects as well, like technological fittings. So go where? And when you have come to the plant, and if you could just see those plants, and we will need to set up production of electronics. And now they are saying sanctions, sanctions, and we have China. We can work with China. Sanctions? Well, let's look at those sanctions. We will see. We will now start producing such units, such motors, we will start marketing them, and then we will see, because efficiency of consumption is very different. And any general purpose industrial motor, in our interpretation, in our version, it is the unit, first of all, it is the unit which is finished already. As for the price, it is lower than the standard motor, the modern motor, with classical winding for 50 Hz. Is it worth doing it in the old way, or shall we just take a step in the future? So, we are prepared for the new technological setup, and we are finally voicing 
what we will do, and we are doing it in a more open way. But this step is very risky, because we are showing our cards to our competitors. And starting from this point, it will be a real game, who will be faster, who will be quicker. Thus, we can say that we stir up ourselves to move in a more dynamic way. And dynamics of our movement heavily depends on the funding that we get.